So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how I manifested my dream life, my dream house, travels, my dream career, right? I get to wake up and do the work that makes my soul happy. I'll be sharing with you exactly what I did. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do another video on how I manifested my dream life in honor of having posted that exact video about a year ago. Um, and I realized I wasn't very specific in that video. So I wanted to do it again. And also for those of you who are new here, you get to hear my story, how I did it, how I managed to normalize my dream life. I always like to say, make it normal, neutralize your holy dream goals, because it's only in making them normal that you'll be able to pull them into your reality. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how I manifested my dream life, my dream house, travels, my dream career, right? I get to wake up and do the work that makes my soul happy. I'll be sharing with you exactly what I did. So stay to the end of this video to see how I did it. Also, if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Give this video a like right now. It helps other people manifest their dream life as well. And actually, let's do a scripting game. Choose three things that you want to manifest and comment them down below as if it had already happened. And come back to this video like it so you have it in your like videos come back to this video once it has happened let's do a scripting game challenge okay without further ado let's get into the video i just want to share that the where i come from like circumstances were not in my favor at all like i didn't grow up with rich parents i didn't have anybody to help me so i really got there on my own I probably could have made it a lot easier on myself than I did, but I just got there completely on my own. So I just wanted to share that. At one point when I was a student, I was literally, I have no idea how I did that, but I was living off of, this was actually like 12 years ago, which 12 years is not that long, but it feels like it was a completely different life. Um, I was living off of, $500 a month and I was I was living out of $500 a month I was sleeping in a studio apartment with no windows the only windows it has had was the door like it was a window door not dangerous at all um but yeah that's that was my reality at that point as a student um I had to I had to take out a student loan of course um, and just things weren't set up in my favor. I just had this determination that I was going to make it no matter what. Um, I just had this knowing. So the first thing that I want to share is to have faith and absolute, absolute hundred percent faith that this will happen sooner or later. Um, a lot of people like to like manifest on a time crunch or give themselves like a timing when to manifest. I don't like to do that because you never know like when it could happen. It could happen in a week, in a month or in years. Like you have to trust that what is for you will find you and what you want will come to you no matter what. But I also, along with that, I was not doubt free. Like I had a lot of moments where I just wanted to give up. I was like, this, this doesn't work. I just didn't want to do it anymore. So it's like a balance. Like you have this inner knowing, but you also don't have to like believe it a thousand percent for it to happen. Like a lot of the manifestations that have happened for me, I, if you would have told me this is what's going to happen, I would have never believed you. This is a misconception. You do not have to believe it in order to see it, okay? Once you have that quantum leap, I'm going to get into quantum physics in a bit. Once you have that quantum leap, it just doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't make sense. And we always wonder how we're going to get there until when we're there, we wonder how we did it. 
because sometimes you have these huge increases in life where everything happens for you and all of a sudden you have it all and it's like wait a minute like a month or two ago I was completely like in desperation my life was a completely different life that's because you shifted in a new reality okay like your life can change in a year, in six months, in three months, your life can absolutely change just like that. Another thing I did is I got on the frequency of my desires. If you look at quantum physics, everything is frequency and we can only achieve our desires. We can only get there by being in the frequency. It's like tuning into a radio station, right? You cannot listen to radio station, I don't know, 107, I'm just making something up here. You cannot listen to radio station 107 by being tuned into the station 87, right? 87, right? You need to tune up the dial and get on into that frequency first and then it shows up into your reality. Our reality is just a mirror of what's going on inside. So what frequency have you been on? What are your dominant thoughts? Are you maybe meditating and visualizing and scripting and doing all the things, but you're doing it for five minutes and the rest of the day, you're in doubt, in fear, in lack, in complaining and feeling like it can't happen, right? So like, where's your dominant energy? Because that is really what will shift your frequency. And by shifting your frequency, you will align to the frequency of your desires because your desires are on a specific frequency. They are vibrational coordinates that you have to get to first in your inner state in order to match the frequency of your desires, if that makes sense. Let's say your new house is on frequency 1,223 and you're on the frequency 504, right? You need to get to that frequency of that new house. It's like a vibrational coordinate. Okay, my next one is fake it until you make it because I was her before I was her, okay? I became her internally. I didn't talk to anyone about it. I didn't um, speak to anyone about it because I noticed whenever I share um, my... This has to do with human design, like the way your human design is. Some people do really well with like sharing what they want to manifest, right? It's like, watch me manifest this. And then other people, like when they share their manifestations, other people's doubts, it, it's kind of like it impacts them, right? For me personally, from experience, I know that every time I shared what I wanted to manifest, something got in the, in the way. Like there were roadblocks where it didn't happen. And every time I just zip it up and I keep it to myself, for me, what has worked is to keep my goals private um, and to just be her internally before I was her. Like I was the successful YouTuber before I got my 100K YouTube plaque. You know what I mean? At one point my channel grew like 100K subscribers and like I remember I wanted to be like at 100K subscribers and my channel grew like 100 after once i hit 100k subscribers my channel grew like 100k in 28 days so i went from 100k and 200k and like 20, i don't know something like that it went so fast i remember youtube showed like a 999 plus percent increase because more than a thousand increase is not pop like youtube can't show it in the analytics i still remember that so that's a quantum leap, right? You have to fake it until you make it. And all of a sudden you'll be on that frequency and be like, how did this happen? I didn't even do anything. And so that this is my next step. You don't have to do anything to see it, okay? And there's so much debate around this. But if you are, the higher your consciousness level, the less you'll have to do, right? So the lower consciousness level is like, you have to work hard, do, 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 like matter of, like Joe Dispenza always says, it's matter affecting matter, right? You try to change the circumstances. You want to make more money so you get a different job. Yet that's not how the quantum works. True people, true people, true, <laughs> people who really understand quantum physics know that the creation happens in the void. When you go into that inner state, in the void and you don't have to meditate in a dark room for that you can also just do a walking meditation tap into those frequencies while doing dishes or showering right 
um, and you get into that frequency, things will come to you. I promise you, because you will have that magnetic, you're changing, you're literally changing your electromagnetic field and you're pulling it into your reality and therefore it will show up in your reality. Opportunities will present themselves to you. You will meet people and it won't be like, yes, of course you have to like, if you meet someone, you have to go on a date with them. You have to obviously do certain things, but I'm saying like you don't have to grind and hustle and work like a slave and exhaust yourself. No, no, we ain't doing that here because we're in a feminine energy of receiving and of making magic happen. Next one is, this is a big one, I didn't let doubters stop me, okay? Um, it goes back to just keeping everything private because I knew my dreams were too let's say they were too big to understand for the people that at that time were around me. I knew that they would just not be able to comprehend either why I wanted this or be like, oh, you should just be happy with what you have already. But no, like if you have been given a dream and it's your heart's desire, you deserve to have it. Like no matter if that is like being a stay at home mom and just being so fulfilled um, by that, which in actually in fact is already like a full-time job or if that's like you wanting to become a billionaire like whatever you want to do you can have it like nothing is impossible nothing is impossible everything every reality already exists in a quantum field you just have to pull it into your reality my next tip is i surrounded myself with successful people um and honestly, in the beginning, I didn't have a lot of successful people around me. So what I did is I just read books. I read books. I immersed myself in the energy and in the thinking patterns and habits of people that had achieved what I wanted to achieve. And we also have something called mirror neurons. So mirror neurons is basically like when you look at a when we talk to a baby, um, the baby kind of mimics us, right? And those are mirror neurons. This is why um, like when someone cries in front of us, we get emotional as well. And we sometimes want to cry as well. Um, and by using those mirror neurons, by watching successful people, your body literally kind of absorbs that information and mirrors it back into your life. It's kind of like an unconventional tip, but it really, really works. Um, and my last tip is to tap into your feminine energy of receiving because the world teaches us so much uh, to just be in hustle culture. Hustle culture has never worked. It has, it works in the material realm. It works for those people who just want to like be in that masculine energy of go, go, go. And I just want to say, I'm not judging that. There's nothing wrong with it, right? If it works for you, amazing. But the thing is, as women, we are not meant to be in a masculine energy, right? We are supposed to be in our feminine because we are magnetic. We pull and draw things towards us. We work differently than men. We're just built differently in that way. We have a 28 day cycle versus men who have a one day cycle. For example, ever since I started syncing my business to my cycle, I am so much more productive because I know the days that I can go full power in my work and the days where I just kind of like sit back and reflect. Because I just started to sync my work to my natural energy. By combining feminine energetics and scientifically backed manifestation practices, you literally can attract the life of your dreams. And if you wanna do this, this is exactly what I'll be sharing with you in this round of Abundance Queen Academy. I'm so excited to share that I'm finally opening the doors to Abundance Queen Academy again. If you've been waiting to get in, now's the time to get in. This program is for you if you wanna release your money blocks, your money patterns, if you want to break the patterns that keep you in lack or just keep you in a stressful state, if you want to build up that unshakable confidence that will allow you to create a luxurious lifestyle for yourself with ease by being in your feminine energy of receiving, and if you want to apply just all the things that I just mentioned and that I did to create my dream life, this program is for you. You will love it. And I'm actually so confident that you will release your blocks and love this program so much that I'm offering a 30 day money back guarantee so you can buy it risk free. That's how confident I am that you'll have a powerful transformation and shift happen for you.
So this is it for how I manifested my dream life. Again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Script your dream life down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.